Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have something interesting. Um, it's not in here or in here, but instead in these three containers, I got some new um, inverts that I will be um, rehousing into these new containers from the uh, Reptile Expo. So let's get into them. So first up here, I got an orange baboon tarantula. Let's see if we can find him in here. He's actually right there near the top. I don't think you guys can see him, but uh, I just had to get this guy for my collection. It's really cool. He's not orange yet. He's still pretty small, but that's okay. And this thing is my all time favorite arachnid type thing. It is a tailless whip scorpion. I don't know the exact species, but he is a tailless whip scorpion. Um, You'll see him better when I actually am able to take him out because this is not a very good, like, showing off thing. And then in here, I have an Asian forest scorpion. He's a pretty big guy. I'll be rehousing all of these. We're going to start off with, I think, the OBT first. So let's do that. Since I have to do this stuff one-handed, I am going to show you the enclosure. I just have a little water dish and some hides for it. Um, I also have a catch cup here. Since I have to do this with one hand, since I'm using a phone, I I'm actually going to do it off camera because I really don't want to one hand try to put an OBT in a new enclosure. That sounds like a terrible idea. So uh, I'm going to do that. All right, there we go. Let's try to get them actually on a light on there. Ooh. Back away from... He's not orange yet. However, I hope he will turn orange in the uh, coming weeks or whatever of his life. Rehoused, perfect. Ugh. Maybe I should have got a, got a bigger enclosure. Just... Oh, that was a bit nerve wracking, but he's in his enclosure now, so that's good. Let's move on to something that is not going to absolutely destroy me. The tailless whip scorpion. Whee! Oh, there he is, it's much better lighting. Well, here's the enclosure I got. Might be a bit big, but he'll grow up and he'll grow into it. Um, got a water dish in there. These lids are annoying to take off. This thing is not harmful at all. Unlike an OBT, this thing cannot hurt me, so. I forgot to name the OBT as well. His name will be Squiggity Diggity. His red eyes, cool that thing looks. All right, let's get into the enclosure. I think I'll do this off camera as well, just for convenience. All right, there we go. I accidentally got some dirt in the water dish, so I'm gonna fix that. But uh, uh hold on, let's get this then. Uh, I guess I should humidify this because they like humidity. Yeah, but um. Looks like there he is on the underside. Nice. That's cool. Nice, I like that. Henceforth, you shall be called Craig. All right now, I have the uh, scorpion ready for its enclosure. I'm going to take this out and get it into its new enclosure. Once again, off camera, don't trust myself enough to do it while holding with one hand, you know? So let's do that. All right, there he is. I've been trying to get him in, but uh, I don't know how to coax him without him turning around. He's like inching toward. So I think I'm just gonna let him inch until he's out of the cup. Yeah, because whenever I do that, he does that. Oof. Ugh. Oh. 
he's in. He is in. Luckily, they cannot climb plastic, so I've been told. Push this down so that it's not closer to the top. All right. I want to hold them, but I don't want them to sting me or clamp me, so we're not going to. I wonder if he wants anything to eat. Maybe he's hungry. I don't know. Let me let me go get some food. All right, let's see if we'll take it. Okay. Maybe he's not hungry right now. If he wants to make his burrow there, then how about we do like that? There you go. Let's remove these mealworms. I need better tongs or just better grip. This is not working. Alright, I'm gonna put these guys in their own little like <clears throat> enclosure as well. Because I just got these as feeders from the expo. So I'll definitely Ooh, what are you doing? He's trying to climb. I don't think he can. He better not be able to. Hold on, hold on. It seems as though that he's retreated back in there. And that's okay. I'll just close it up. Maybe I can try to feed it tomorrow. Um, yeah. What should I name this one? Steve Harvey. Yep. That's what your name is. Steve Harvey. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. I hope you got <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I've been trying to get into like more arachnid type things like spiders and stuff like that. I just went to this expo today and I saw these. They were so cool. They had a camel spider. I might have gotten that, but I wasn't feeling it. They had some other types of tarantulas. In hindsight, I feel like I should have gotten one of the other tarantulas and not the OBT, but I have it now, so the scorpion there was a few other species like emperors some other ones that i can't remember the names of um there was also a few centipedes i feel like i i don't know if i would have wanted a centipede because like i saw one and i wanted it but like centipedes are a bit uh you know what i'm saying anyone who's had a centipede like i don't know if i'm if i really want like a something that's going to be like, you know, fuck you, fuck your hand, fuck the ground, fuck everything, like, I don't know if I want something like that, the OBT is basically what that is, but it's cool, if any of y'all have any tips on how to, like, maybe make the enclosures that I have better, or, you know, any care tips that you want to throw at me, that'd be very nicely appreciated, I'm gonna let the OBT web up a little bit, maybe feed it tomorrow, so that um i'm gonna feed everything tomorrow actually just so that um they'll all have food 
and I don't want them to be stressed right now. I shouldn't have tried to feed the scorpion when I literally just put it in there. That doesn't make any sense, as if it would want to eat right then and there. Yeah, I'm just glad that I had the tailless whipped scorpion. If I could only get one thing, I would have. it would have been that. <laughs> it was really cool. There was also this um, nice uh, tarantula. They had a bird eater. It was $100, and it's a bird eater. I don't want a bird eater. It's too big. It's just too big. And it doesn't have cool enough colors to really justify that. Also expensive. They had some, I think they had a Choco Golden E. I know they had a Mexican Red Hump. I, I should have gotten that. Because it, it was decently sized. And I, I feel like it would have been fun to have. I think I instead of the OBT, I should have gotten one of the Pink Toes. That would have been nice. Pink Toes are cool. They're easy. Um, but I have what I have, and that's what it is. The OBT will be nice. Uh, tell me whenever they uh, start to become orange because um, I don't know if it's still a sling or if it's a, if it's a juvenile now. Um, like, I don't know if it's small enough to be a sling, but it's definitely not an adult. Like, it's not even close to being orange. It's just gray. The scorpion, like, the, the tail of swift scorpion... I have no problems. I'm just gonna call them amble pidgeys for now on because that's what they are. That I had no problems holding that thing. It's really easy. It, it was nice. It wasn't mean to me. It doesn't bite. It can't even hurt you. But everything else in there, like I'm not gonna hold that scorpion. I'm not trying to get stung. I don't even think that the Asian four scorpions are really that prone to sting, but I don't want to get stung. I don't even think that it would actually be that bad. I just don't want to get stung. And then the OBT is an OBT, so yeah. Somebody at my school was harassing me to get one, so I ended up getting it. It's nice. Actually, let me show some some of the stuff that they had there. They had some nice snakes and whatever. I should have taken a video of all the uh, like creatures that they had, like the the, the bugs and stuff. But uh, that was, you know, I forgot to do that. But. <laughs> are cool uh, very expensive i wouldn't have been able to even get one even if i wanted to though because uh my, my dad doesn't i mean my papa doesn't like snakes so i didn't come to think of it i probably should have bought some substrate out there instead of using topsoil for most of them uh i could have gotten an enclosure better than what i have I feel like the enclosures that I made were okay, but you know, you could always use like an official thing. I could get like a tarantula cribs enclosure, but those are really expensive. I don't know why they're so expensive. It's a piece of plastic. It's not even that big, it's like $200. How do you cost more than the creature that I'm putting inside of it? I don't understand. Maybe I'm just stupid. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And that's about all. I'll definitely be updating all as they grow. And, uh, yeah, I promise I'm not going to become one of those, like, a bazillion, like, arachnids on my wall channels. It's still mostly just moths and stuff like that. I just really needed to have the stuff that I got in my life. I want more true spiders. That's what I want. Latrodectus. Loxocellis. Heteropoda. Yes. Other than that, though, peace.